Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and today I want to share with you guys everything that we ate at Sandals OG. We've been back from our trip for probably like a month now so we've had time to think about everything that we loved and didn't love. My voice is a little bit weird because I'm a little bit sick so just bear with me. But let's get right on into it. So Sandals OG has 16 restaurants. No shortage of food on your trip to Sandals OG. <laughs> also I should mention this is in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. I also have up our room tour and some other videos from our time at the resort and our Duns River Falls and shopping excursion. So go check those out so you can get the full picture on how our trip was, everything that you can look out for, all our tips and tricks. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I think they are like somewhat in order of how we ate them. I guess I'll just start with the airport. So when you get to the airport, there's a Sandals Lounge and they offer beer and maybe some other alcoholic beverages, I'm not sure, but you could also get bottled water. Um, soda. They had snacks that you could take with you on your shuttle ride or you could just sit here use the Wi-Fi. Whatever the case may be, once you get to the Sandals Lounge in the airport, they start taking care of you. So they had like Cheez-Its and some other like chips and stuff that you could grab. There were also bathrooms in here, just a side note, it was a very nice little area. When we got to the resort, in the lobby they gave us some champagne. Almost straight away they were like, welcome. Here's a cold towel, cool yourself off, and here's some champagne. <laughs> Since we had time before our room was ready, we went to Tapas, and we, at Tapas we got the, Jordan got the sliders, those were the best thing that we got in this little snack meal situation. I got the Cobb salad, and it was good, but the, the turkey was like cubed, I don't know, it, it, it was like deli turkey, but like cubed, I don't know, it was different, but I'm not saying it was a bad thing, just like pointing out something that I noticed. The dressing was good, and it was refreshing after a long day of travel. The potato wedges I wasn't crazy about, they just tasted like very fried. Sorry if you hear anything <laughs> coming from this area, it's my cats playing in the window. Okay, so the next thing we have was Bella Napoli. This was the pizza by the pool on the beach side of the resort. So there's a beach side, or I think they call it like riverside, and then hillside. We stayed on the riverside, and there's a pizza place at both sides, but this one was on our side, the riverside. We called this the margarita pizza, but it was really just like a plain cheese pizza. We were gonna get the four cheese, but it had like blue cheese on it, and Jordan definitely wouldn't be a fan of that. This pizza isn't anything to like write home about, but it got the job done when you're hungry by the pool. For dinner the first night, we ate at Vista, what do they call it? I was getting confused every time. I think it was like Vista Gourmet, and Sky Terrace or something, but I don't know. I don't know if that's like the full name or if it's like Vista Sky. I don't really know the situation, but this is one restaurant like Vista Gourmet Sky Terrace. Not really sure. I got the seafood, I think it was called Seafood Bisque. Let's see. Yeah. I got the Seafood Bisque. It was very good. It was like a thinner soup, so it wasn't exactly like a a bisque like how you think of a bisque to be more of like a thick soup it was a little bit spicy so if you don't have a high spice tolerance you might not like it and then they had like the little shells for the I don't know what they were like little clams um all in the soup so you just had to have, you just kind of had to pick around that didn't bother me but it's just something that I wanted to mention I'm sorry I sound like this guys so this night I ordered the salmon for dinner but they told me they didn't have any more, but then when the meals came out, everyone got their food except for me, and then they were like, would you have the salmon? I said, yes, but you said you didn't have any more, so I ordered something else, and they said, oh, we have one more, and they brought it. So I ended up with the salmon. I don't even remember what I was going to order instead. The salmon was a little dry. Jordan's steak, super good. Whatever sauce was on it, so good. And then he had, I think he had shrimp, yeah, he had shrimp with his steak that I stole, and those were like the best part of the whole dinner. They were really good. They brought us out just a bunch of the desserts. Brownie sandwich, which to me tasted like a three musketeer. And then the strawberry shortcake, but that had like almost no strawberry on it. It was just that small little bit of puree. This was the only time we ate dinner at this place. It was pretty good, but there's just so many restaurants to try that we ended up just not really repeating where we ate, except for late night food. Okay, so the next day, I think the first meal we had was lunch, and we ate at the Mariner. Love the view here, because it's right on the beach. I got the BLT. The bacon was a little bit tough, so the sandwich was kind of hard to like take a bite and pull <laughs> the sandwich away from your face, like you took all of the bacon with you, but it was yummy. Uh, the menu says curly fries, but they didn't have curly fries. I don't know if that's like always, like if it's changed now, but just look out for that. Don't get don't get overexcited about curly fries. <laughs> if you're anything like me, when you see curly fries, you're like, yes. So I got fries and coleslaw with mine. And then Jordan got a burger, of course. Pretty good, not top quality, better than the theme park, Jordan said. <laughs> so if you if you can think of a theme park burger, this was like a little bit better than that. This resort being all-inclusive, you can get any alcoholic beverage, any beverage you want, any amount of food you want. So like if it says it comes with fries, but you want fries and coleslaw, no problem. If you want a Coke, go ahead and get one. If you want wine, whatever, literally anything you want. So for dinner this night, we did hibachi, but before that we went for appetizers at Soy. This ended up being our favorite restaurant on the Sandals OG property. It was so good. My husband's pretty picky, but it works out because he always ends up trying like the most basic thing and I can let you know what that is. So for on this menu, it was the 
Crispy chicken kara age. I hope I'm saying that right. It might be just like kara age. I don't really know. But it's basically fried chicken. The sauce came on the side, so you don't have to ask for that. And that was perfect for him. And he actually liked the sauce. He liked the whole thing. It was very good. I got the shrimp gyoza. I hope I'm saying that right. It was so good. We ended up going back to soy a couple more times. At least one more time because we just loved it so much. It was so good. The sauce with it was delicious. And then I got the crispy Philly sushi roll so something to note is that we were having hibachi for dinner this night and they're right next to each other like they share a door and so so the sushi didn't come out in time for us to finish it at the table in soy so we ended up taking it over to the hibachi place but we couldn't eat it at the bar so we had to wait until our table was ready and we were sat it was fine they brought it over to us once we were sat and it was delicious and perfect okay so the hibachi place was called kimonos for the appetizer, Jordan got the duck salad and he didn't like it, but he's picky, so don't take that for what it is. I tried some of the noodles from his salad. I put them in my salad, which was the ginger salad, which actually had almost no taste. I don't know why, it was just like very watery. I think I poured like a tiny little bit of soy sauce on it just to give it something, and then it was fine. The hibachi included vegetables, chicken, steak, shrimp, and mahi fish, and fried rice. We were pretty tired for hibachi, and our chef also didn't like try and get us hyped up, so that was kind of like meh it was jordan's first time at hibachi and it wasn't like his best experience at hibachi he didn't do any of the stuff that you expect like the sake and the um like tossing vegetables and you try to catch them in your mouth like the volcano um onion thing they didn't do any of that kind of stuff it was just kind of like a basic hibachi which for all inclusive like it's cool that they even have it so it was still good i'm just telling you to let you know what to expect because overall it was still delicious and it was a good time the hibachi was really good the vegetables and rice were my favorite part and the shrimp we asked for the steak to be cooked medium and they did a good job with that. For dessert, Jordan got the sticky coconut rice. He didn't really like it. I got the guava pudding and I didn't like it at all, but mostly because of the texture. I don't think I like guava anyway, so. So the next day we went to breakfast. We actually only got breakfast twice the whole trip, I think. We were just staying up so late and then sleeping so late. By the time we got up, it was like, we were just, we just waited till lunch pretty much. But we wanted to check it out. So this was at that Sky Terrace, Sky Gourmet Terrace, I don't know, whatever it was. The same place that we went to dinner the first night, the breakfast is. So it's a breakfast buffet. All the usual breakfast things. It's not like anything super impressive, but it gets the job done. They have pancakes and eggs and yogurt parfaits, fresh fruit. I think they had like a cheese and maybe like deli meats station. They had sausage or bacon or both, some kind of potatoes. Um, I think you could get two different types of syrups. They had like pastries. We sat outside, but in the shade. So it was just lovely. The view is beautiful. Later on that day, we were poolside and we were back down by Bell and Napoli, so I got another pizza. This time I got the Hawaiian pizza because I thought like adding toppings might give it more flavor, and it did. It was good. Jordan got another margarita pizza, and again, the pizza is mid, but it's fun to eat by the pool. So this was actually wedding day. We went to Sandals Ochi for our friend's wedding, and so later on this day, it was cocktail hour, and this was the spread. So they had cheese crackers, fruit, bruschetta, I think it was like coconut shrimp, and then some kind of like fritter I don't know I don't remember what it was but it was so good and then this like spicy mayo to go with it and then like sweet chili sauce for the shrimp these appetizers were so good and then for the wedding reception menu the appetizer was a deconstructed Caesar salad which it was pretty constructed I don't know why they called it that this was delicious I loved everything about it and then I got the salmon it came with like kind of like a baked bean situation which was different I mean I'm not saying it wasn't good it was good but it was different but I will say Jordan's food was so good and I kept stealing it. His came with scalp potatoes or some kind of like potatoes au gratin or something. And so, I mean, that's like one of my favorite foods ever. So I stole probably half of those and his vegetables, which he wouldn't have eaten anyway. So it was perfect. The dessert at the wedding was so good. I think this was like a cheesecake situation. And then they also brought their wedding cake, which was like, a, I think just like a chocolate cake. I don't know. I just remember it being delicious. <laughs> And then, of course, after the wedding, we had to get late night snack. We went back to Tapas, which was the place we went for like appetizers or like a quick lunch on the first day when we first arrived. I got buffalo chicken and Jordan got a burger. Oh no, I got a burger too. And some fries. All right, on to the next day. Our first meal of the day was lunch again. We went back over to the hillside because our friends had a cabana for the day by the pool. And so we ate at the great house. I got the quesadillas with jerk chicken. Did I get chicken? I think just cheese. I don't know. It came with guac, sour cream, and salsa. Jordan got some hot dogs. Then I also got a Jamaican beef patty. The quesadilla was on like a green tortilla. I don't know if it was like spinach or anything. It didn't taste any different. It was just green. The Jamaican beef patty, I'm not sure how I feel about. I don't think I really liked it. I wanted to so bad because like I love empanadas, but it just wasn't like, I don't know. I don't know if it was the pastry. I don't know. I just didn't love it. And then over here at the Great House, they had get your own ice cream. So of course I had to grab some. Like I said earlier, we ended up back at Soy this night for dinner. 
We just loved it so much. I got the miso soup this time and the same shrimp gyoza. This time I added on edamame and Jordan definitely got his same crispy chicken. I just didn't film it. Actually, these were appetizers again because me and Jordan had reservations for Kelly's Dockside for dinner this night. At Kelly's Dockside, oh, I need the menu. So for appetizers at Kelly's Dockside, I got the corn and crab chowder. I remember it being very salty, but I really loved it. And then we also got the Kelly's sampler for two, which was smoked fish dip and wine poached shrimp spicy cocktail sauce, and garlic crostini. And really it was just like a little sampling. It wasn't very big at all, but it was good. Being all-inclusive, you can get as much as you want, so even if it's a small portion, just ask for another one. I'm sure they'll bring it to you with absolutely no trouble. For dinner this night, Jordan got the charred filet mignon with the baked potato. I felt like it was a little chewy, like I actually thought it was a little hard to get through. I got the seafood alfredo, and it was so delicious. I like, I'm thinking about this, like I want it. It was so good. <laughs> okay, the next day we went on our excursion, and on our way back we asked our driver we could stop at Pizza Hut, so we got Pizza Hut. <laughs> Jordan loves Pizza Hut. And then for dinner this night, we ate at Valentino's, which is the Italian place. We tried the signature cocktail, which I think was some kind of like chocolate something or other. We, neither of us liked the cocktail. <laughs> With the bread, they bring you out three spreads. I think one was like a pesto, one was maybe like sun-dried tomato, and one maybe was like a regular butter. They were all very good. I got the minestrone soup, and it had like spaghetti noodles in it, which was kind of throwing me off. I mean, it's fine. Like, it didn't change the flavor. I was just like, this is different. <laughs> Jordan got the arancini, which was the fried rice balls and tomato sauce, and I just remember them being okay, they were fine. I also got the gorgonzola salad, and Jordan got the Caesar salad, and the salads were really good. For my main entree, I got the gnocchi, which had cherry tomatoes, clams, mussels, shrimp, and white wine, and it was delicious, it was so good. And Jordan got the lasagna, and it was also good. And that was actually our last meal at the resort, so that's everything we ate during our time at Sandals Ochi. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to like go in more into detail. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of everything we ate, what it looked like, Sorry my voice is like this. I know it's probably so annoying because it's annoying me. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. It's been so much fun to share our experience at Sandals Ochi. We seriously had such a good time. The wedding there was beautiful. Every All the amenities. We just had like such so much fun with our friends. Our excursion was so good and the food was good. We just had a good time. So thanks for hanging out with us. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!